Okay, let's make sure the light is oh. <laughs> Okay, so that didn't go so well. We should we should we should try that one again. Let's start out by defining the problem. So have you recently experienced situations or problems such as this one over here, or perhaps this one right here, or even something like this right here? Have you been seeing these sort of problems on your Facebook shops? I think all of us have been confronted by this at some point in time, and we're all wondering, you know, what is the best approach? What do we need to do in order to avoid these issues? and not have to go through interruptions in our selling on Facebook shops. And that's exactly what I'm going to cover on this video. What's up guys, my name is Daniel and you're watching Daniel Sells Online. Happy New Year, happy 2022, and I'm excited to have you back for another video this week. As always, I welcome your comments and feedback, so make sure to leave them down on the comment section down below. So grab yourself your favorite cup of coffee, perhaps a cup of tea, or your favorite beverage, and join me today as we dive into this week's video. Lately, I've been asking myself this question a lot, and basically what it is, Facebook shops, are they a social media platform first and then e-commerce? I think it's a question that many of you have been asking yourself lately, and the reason why I think this is big mainly because of all of the other social components that come into making your Facebook shop successful. And I wanna dive into these topics in full detail on this week's video. So if you've been having problems with your Facebook shop, violating any of the commerce policies that Facebook is implementing on a lot of us, you're gonna find this video to be very interesting. So without further ado, let's dive into this week's video it should be a good one, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and also, you can like this video, it really helps the video to get promoted and be seen by a lot more people, which helps my channel in return. Now the question is, is are you having the problem? And I haven't yet clearly defined the problem, so I'm gonna do that right now, that our business page is trustworthy. And I do want to say that a lot of this is related to a topic that I touched on on a prior video. I'll link the card on here so you can go back and watch it um, when you have some free time. But it pretty much covers the severe problem that over the past year, Facebook has been facing with a lot of um, scammer issues and people stealing from both uh, buyers and perhaps other sellers. Uh, listing items that they don't have available, and it's just been a complete mess. So as a result, there's a lot of safeguards that have surfaced to protect both the seller and the buyer, and unfortunately, it has affected us indirectly, and it's giving us a lot more headaches than we would like. This is why having access to information and learning how things work, both the ins and outs, are so important to the success of any business, whether it's drop shipping or anything else that you're working on. This is why I have decided to launch my own course in early 2022. And it's something that I did, you know, in the very beginning, I invested in courses and it's really helped me get to where I am today. So there's gonna be a link down in the description is pretty much for the pre-sale of my course that again will be available in early 2022. So in the link, you can just provide me with your name and with your email if you're interested in the course and that will automatically get you into the waiting list. So for everyone that decides to join in early, there's gonna be bonuses, plus there's gonna be a big discount for all of you who decide to partake in the pre-sale of my course. Now, eventually, you know, the price will go up. Um, not by much, I am not, I'm not gonna price this, this course on some astronomical number. Like, believe me, there's people out there selling courses for $1,000, I'm not that person, okay? I just want fair value for the information I'm gonna be sharing with you, and it's gonna be a fair price for all of you to have access to it, right? Because I want this to be accessible to as many of you, you know, as I can get it to. So. Don't forget, link in the description. That was a word from our sponsor. Thank you, Daniel Sells Online, for sponsoring this video. 
So let's get, let's get back to the matter at hand. This is the number one thing that you guys should focus on when it comes to demonstrating trustworthiness. And this is daily engagement. If there's anything else that comes out of this video, please remember these two words, daily engagement. And what does this mean? All this talking made me a little thirsty. Let me just take a sip of my coffee here. Nothing like a good cup of joe. So what is it that we were talking about? Yes, we're talking about trustworthiness with Facebook shop. This is what you need to do to create more trustworthiness within your Facebook page and just to help get Facebook off your back and allow you to sell without any limitations. So I had a call with support and I know where you guys are going to say, so hold on just a second. I know there's been a lot of issues with support lately and uh, the information they've been sharing with us hasn't really been that helpful, but I want you to listen to me. Um, so just hold on. Don't, don't kill me <laughs> uh, for this information, but I actually think that this time around support went out of their way to really answer my question. And I actually have the transcript of the conversation I had with support. Um, I'll try if I can maybe, you know, share a couple of screenshots of, of the, of the conversation I had with them. But basically they were, you know, they made every attempt to be transparent with me to begin with. And they share the following. So what support revealed to me was that they are looking for engagement coming to your business page. They want to see that you're posting daily, that there's interaction, that there's a social factor, a social media component that is driving your business page. And this is where I kind of go back to the or original point that I was making about what is the distinction when it comes to Facebook shops, that they are a social media platform first, they're social media centric, and then comes the e-commerce component. So this is the one thing a lot of us seem to ignore, and it's not directly your fault, and it's just because if you've been selling on, uh, online and you've been selling on places such as Shopify, eBay, Amazon, Mercari, Poshmark, whichever channel or marketplace you've been selling on, the social factor has never been something that we've paid too much attention to. And with Facebook, that has really changed. Just a minor correction, when I meant to say it by subscribers, I'm really talking about followers. So that's really uh, what, I, what I tried to say. So I just want to backtrack and, and make that minor correction. So yeah, followers. I mean, you don't need to have 100, 200, 1,000 followers. That's not what support share with me. They just want to see some sort of following because they do understand that a lot of people coming into Facebook right now are new sellers and for the first time are going to be establishing a, a business page let alone a Facebook shop. So there is no number, at least they didn't tell me an exact number. So don't worry about that too much. If anything, you can always share your page with your friends and family. I mean, a lot of you must have, you know, over a thousand um, Facebook friends anyway. So it's not gonna be difficult to get followers on your business page. So might as well just, you know, do the extra legwork and that way start branding and start getting more attention, you know, to your business page. Don't worry about this. You know, this is impacting everybody. It has impacted me and even people close within my circle who are drop shipping on Facebook have shared that they're going through similar problems. So don't think you're just alone on an island. Persevere. If you're a beginner, don't be discouraged. You know, you will be able to get into shops. And if you're already selling and are a seasoned seller, then Use these recommendations and tips in case you have been affected by Facebook asking for some sort of proof that your business page is trustworthy. So thank you guys for watching. And if you're new to the channel, I'm going to link, you know, either here or, or, he, or here. There's going to be a playlist of videos. I highly recommend you go check them out. So I'll see you guys inside.